Hello and welcome to another video. In today's video, I'm gonna show you how I've been consistently losing half a kilogram of weight per week since the start of the year. If you're looking forward to seeing how I do it, make sure you smash that like button and make sure you subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. But let's go downstairs and let's show you guys what I've been having for breakfast basically every day to lose this weight. All right, so the first meal, as you just saw on your screen, is poached eggs on toast. Guys, if you don't have a poacher like you saw in the video, I'd 100% recommend getting one. It's so much easier to poach your eggs in there than trying to do it in a pan full of boiling water. Definitely invest in an egg poacher. So I put the calories and the macros on the screen for you right there. This meal is about 600 calories. You can make it lower in calories if you've got some better bread. The bread that I'm using is a seeded loaf, so it has more calories because of the seeds. It's about 140 calories per slice. So personally, I'd recommend getting like a medium white or something be about 95 calories per slice, but that's what we've got. What you didn't see is I just added salt, pepper, and ketchup to my poached eggs on toast. You gotta have ketchup on eggs, guys. Let me know what you think about that in the comments. Do you agree? Does ketchup belong on eggs? Does it belong in the bin? Let me know. But anyway, I'm gonna get that eaten. It's got a good amount of protein in it for breakfast, and I'll show you what I'm doing for the rest of the morning. So welcome to this little voiceover section of the video. I thought this would be an interesting way to do things. As you can see right now, I'm at work. I work from eight until 12 before I have my lunch break. There's also two things I like to do in the morning, one being very traditional of a developer or an office worker. And I drink a lot of tea, as you can see on the screen now. I have a couple of cups of tea in the morning to keep me going. And I also find that it helps me to not snack as well. If I just have a cup of tea or something, it stops me from potentially having a chocolate bar or a cake or something like that. I also drink a lot of water as well and just like the cups of tea, this really helps to make sure that I'm not overeating in the morning. But with the amount of water I've got right here, I don't even think about food. So lunchtime rolled around, it's 12 o'clock and I like to go on a lunchtime walk every single day. And I couldn't recommend this more to people. It's so important to just get out there and get your steps in. So if you're an office worker like myself, Get yourself out there on your lunch break and get your steps in. As you can see, we went to the shop today. My mum had to pick up some bread and I got myself my favourite soft drink, which is a Dr Pepper Zero. Let me know what you think about that in the comments. But once we got home, we got our meal into the microwave and I'll show you what that is now. Okay, so I just got back from my lunchtime walk. I managed to rack up five and a half thousand steps. And honestly, if you work a sedentary job like me, where you don't get up that much and you just sat at your desk all day, I just think it's so important to get yourself out on your lunch break and just get some steps in. Don't underestimate the amount of calories you can burn and the amount it's gonna help your weight loss by going for a walk. So in terms of lunch, you can see it right here, sort of. I've got a creamy garlic chicken pasta and this is a perfect time to explain the importance of meal prep. So I put the calories and macros right there and so many people when they're trying to do this whole weight loss thing, We'll just go into it blind, you know? They'll wake up, they'll have no idea what they're gonna be eating today. And this is the reason why a lot of people fail. So I always meal prep on a Sunday. I meal prep at least four meals in advance, so that can take me from Monday through to Thursday. And sometimes I'll even do some meals for Friday as well. But I just think it's so important. So I mean, I know the calories and macros of this meal. I know what I'm gonna be putting into my body. And I know that it tastes great. There are so many people out there on Instagram, TikTok, and all the social media nowadays that post these low calorie meal preps that taste great. You've just got to look, like I literally, I'll link a couple of them in the description now and hopefully that'll help you out. Two people that I always follow are Aussie Fitness and Zach Chug. I found that they've got great meal prep ideas, they're always low in calories and high in protein, which is exactly what you want. So I'm going to eat my lunch now and then I'll come back to you after that. So while I was at the shop, I also bought a scratch card. I had a two pound win on my last one, so I thought, why not try another one, see if we can win a little bit more. I'm gonna strap you in, we're gonna scratch this off, and we're gonna see if it's a winner. Nothing there. We needed a cross hand sink for that, so that's not a winner either. Last chance. What's that, two 200s? No, one 200, 220s, and it's not a win.
Right, so it's just gone three o'clock in the afternoon. I've got myself another cup of tea. I've also got this. I found the recipe for this, it's a Biscoff tray bake. I found it by a guy called Meals by Mitch on TikTok. I'll show you the recipe right there. Make sure you go and follow this guy. He's got some quality recipes. This one was really easy, really simple and cheap to make. Only four ingredients. You're probably wondering though, why have I got a cake when I'm trying to lose weight? Didn't you say earlier about having cups of tea so that you don't snack and whatnot? Basically, what I've found success in is finding a time of the day where you typically will cheat on your diet or get the most hungry. And what I found was that after lunch, in the afternoon, I always craved something more. And so to satisfy those cravings, that's what I've got right here. And this piece of Biscoff tray bake is 250 calories. Put the calories and macros up on there so you can see. And it keeps me going until dinner and it makes sure that I don't fall off the wagon with the diet. But by having this here at three o'clock that I know I'm gonna be eating, I don't end up snacking on other sweets and chocolates and crisps and all that kind of stuff because I know that I've got something coming. I think it's really hard when you've had lunch and there's so many hours until dinner time. I feel like it can be really hard to just stop yourself from snacking on other things. But I've found that this method works for me. And I recommend everyone trying that out as well. Find something that you enjoy. Find a time of the day where you find it really difficult to stick to your diet. And have that thing planned in your day of eating so that you still hit your calorie targets. But have something you like and keep the cravings off until dinner time. So I'm gonna eat this now, drink my tea, and then in a bit we'll be off to the gym. Right, so I've just had my creatine and now I'm ready for the gym. I'm going there today to do a push session. Just to update you on my schedule with the gym, I go on Monday, Tuesday, have a rest on Wednesday, go Thursday, Friday, rest on Saturday, and I'll go again on Sunday. So let's get down to the gym and let's get this workout done. I'll see what I can film and I'll show you guys what I do. Right, so that is the gym done and we've just had dinner which was chicken and rice. We make the rice with a mix of vegetables to make it a little bit healthier. And I put the calories and the macros on the screen for this meal right there. So I hope you enjoyed the voiceover of the workout. I currently do seven exercises per workout and I'm finding that it's working really well. So the workout's really just about maintaining my physique and building more muscle. They're not really about the fat loss and the weight loss as such. You're gonna find that the majority of your weight loss comes from the calorie deficit that you make in your diet and the exercise and cardiovascular work that you do, including walking. With that being said though, I hope you enjoyed the workout and I hope you enjoyed the voiceover as well. So this is where I'm gonna be for the rest of the evening. I'm gonna be going live on TikTok for an hour at half seven, and then probably be doing a little bit of editing work for this video and some other stuff that I've got in the pipeline as well. I do normally like to have a couple of snacks in the evening as well with the rest of my calories. I save a few calories for the evening because the last thing you wanna do on a diet is go to bed on an empty stomach. So. I feel a little bit hungry at certain points during the day so that I can eat a little bit more in the evening and go to sleep on a full stomach. And that's what I found works for me. And what you see right here in this video is how I've been losing half a kilogram per week consistently since the start of the year. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. I will show you what I end up eating later on during the night and I'll show you the calories and macros from it and let you know the full calories and macros for the day. If you did enjoy this video, like I said at the start, make sure you leave a like and make sure you subscribe to this channel Channel if you enjoy the content and want to see more. I'm trying to get to a thousand subscribers this year so every subscription counts so please do tap that subscription button if you haven't already 
and leave a comment let me know what you thought of this video that's it guys take care of yourselves and i'll see you in the next one peace